Hello, fellow YouTubers. Trouble835 here, YouTube Gaming Community number 19, part 2. Quick update about the show for you. There are going to be changes. My wife and me were talking about this today. You know, originally I moved to Monday and Thursday to go to two shows a week. Now, I, I am technically doing two shows a week, but I'm doing four days, four videos in four days on a seven days a week because they're two parters. It's taking up a lot of time and. and I originally went down to two days because I was making three every once one week and two the other and it was taking a lot of time. So here's what we're going to do. I thought about it and here's what the changes we're going to make. On Monday, I'm going to be basically almost, you might consider that discussion video. Monday's going to be about um, personal messages, comments, and uh, per video responses that people send me wanting me to talk about a certain whatever subject in the gaming community or gaming they want me to talk about. And gaming as in, it could be PC gaming, it could be handheld gaming, it could be, you know, whatever, video games, whatever. Um, and I will talk about whatever I want to talk about in that those areas, and then uh, talk about interesting comments that people left me from past episodes, maybe something, maybe a different opinion of mine, maybe uh, a take on I didn't think of before. And maybe every so often, in a great while, there may be some video game history in there. The Thursday episode will simply be uh, videos to check out and channels to check out. And I will always leave the open or me do something like I don't know, maybe I'll call it, I could call it YouTube Game Community Notice or YouTube something. Some little different title to let you know if something like Mr. Television was to happen where I could do a video like that, put it out there really quick just on that subject so everybody in the community knows that something's going on that maybe they want to do something about it or not. So that's the changes that are going to happen. Let's get to the videos to check out first. We're going to start off first with Old School NYC Gamer. His Intellivision Discussion Panel 1 through 7. Discussion for programmers and game developers of the Intellivision system. This was done in the Classic Gaming Expo 2010. So that is, if you're interested in that, check that out. Another very interesting video is the commu Gaming Community vs. J. Blackheart Quartz in Session. I've always respected Jay uh, when I've seen him on the live stream and because that's how you get to really see a person is on a live stream more than the video I mean see what they're really like and he's a guy who always tells you honestly how, what he thinks and feels he's not a guy who just goes goes along with with uh, with rank and file just to be there he gives you his honest opinion on things and so uh, you know there's things about the game community that bother him that he wants to talk about and for you, those people who see the title, they get sensitive about, oh my god, the game community, oh, this isn't right. You know what? You need to relax, okay? He has a right to his opinion. There are things that bother him in the community. I mean, he, he, he's he got problems with the community, and he wants to, to vocally either call people out or talk about, maybe in general, of things that bother him, and he has every right to do that. If you look in the description to the video, um, he does describe things like, you know, game reviews, how they've been, have you seen any accuracies in game reviews lately? And that's true. A lot of people seem to be doing reviews. Have either not played the game all the way through or don't know everything in the game? If you do review a game, you better know every, that game inside and out. You better know every part of that game. You better do the research to know that you know everything about that game before you talk to me. Now watch the videos on YouTube of gameplay of the game and make a decision. Not play five or ten minutes and make a decision because when you do that, when I, if I play that game, beat that game all the way, I will honestly know that you did not play that game through, and I will have little respect for you because you should do the review. You should do, and you're going to tell me, well, well, I don't have time to play through the game. Well, then you should call it an impression or gameplay, not a review. So it'll be interesting what uh, Jay does with the uh, the rest of the videos he's going to do about this. It'll be interesting to hear uh, his honest opinion about those things. Beyond, I'll honestly, people, you know, when I always talk about someone like a video like this or someone like this, uh, I've had very real little contact in, in Jay Blackheart at all. I mean, the latest contact I had with him was when I, you know, thank, you know, congratulated him for being a partner, and then, you know, you know, he left a little me quick, small message back. Um, you know, he did point out a thing in, the, in that description about how people uh, who sub to him and think they know him better, think they know him, and they talk about it like they know him, but they don't really know him. Um, I think the problem. Uh, that byproduct I think happens to him more, and I think uh, new net group in general because they do the live streams and people watch them every weekend for several hours, and they and they and they, they they start like kind of forming a bond by watching them every time, and they, they kind of think they're more friendly with them than they really are. Like even though you watch them on the stream, 
all the time and you know him, he doesn't really know you. So, anyway, <clears throat> enough about that. So, next up is Jill Poo 3 Nintendo Junkie Tuesdays Episode 37 Escapades Unboxing and Reproduction Carts. All there's a lot of Famicom games in this thing. If you want to look, check it out. Um, Nescapade sent him a big box of Famicom games, and I love the Famicom. I wish I had a Famicom system because I love the Famicom games because they're all different colors, they're different sizes. Um, I love the art on them, and the stickers of those. Just you know, it really shows them really quick, and then he goes a real small, small scope over all of them. Uh, the video really over them really slowly, so you can see them really, really good. Um, he does have, he has comedy in his video, which I actually enjoy his videos. Um, he also does a, uh, where he puts, here's these five games, you guys vote, the next, the next show I will play it. And this one was Bubble Bobble Part 2. And he also showed reproduction carts. What reproduction carts are, if you don't know, is, uh, they're, they're basically mods of, of older video games. And then they, this company, if you pay them, they, they burn it to a chip and then they put it in a case and they ship it and you can play it on your NES, uh. He had Mega Man Ultra was one of them, and he had his Zelda game that's supposed to be really popular. But the Mega Man one, he had five of them, but those are the only two I can remember off the top of my head. Uh, the Mega Man one Ultra was really cool because uh, it, it's a modding of Mega Man 2. And what's really cool is one of the levels, you're Mega Man playing in Super Mario Brother level. Really cool. So Check that out. Next up, the Power Game Player on the road Nintendo Neighborhood Tour uh, uh, Nintendo I guess is doing this Neighborhood Tour through Canada where the, you know they got this little setup where you can go check out the system and the games and it's basically so if you don't own one I mean, basically so if you might go buy the system or games that's what this is a promotional tour for so that's really cool next Shredder ones uh, he did this on a, September 26th he did new net live stream he did a review of uh, Soul Brain, a Famicom game. There's a longer title. I'll link to it uh, in the notes below. Um, if you don't know what Soul Brain is, it was a uh, show that came out in Japan. Um, in the States, they, they say in the video it was named VR Troopers. You know, kind of like Power Rangers, but kind of not. Um, I love shows like this. You know, I used to watch Spectrum Man and Ultraman and, you know, all those shows like that. So that's really cool. And I love seeing games that never came out here in the United States. So that is really cool. Uh, J Boy Pac Man had a Coleco Electronic Tabletop Donkey Kong Jr. I always love those little those little kind of tabletop ones so and what else do we have here? Real quick we have shout outs. Um Dog Cypher ninety one did the gaming community collaboration of us gamers dedicated to you guys shout out. Um Nerox did a music to EDF shout out video which is you know, a gameplay video with shouting people out. And S O U K Y U G U R E N T A I um, did a channel promotions and shout outs to awesome YouTubers. So, those are all the videos to check out. Real quickly, a couple channels to check out. Um, for those of you who know Nemesis 3561, um, he now has a new channel called Mr. Yoda's Games Room. Um, he just basically want, I mean, more or less, he just wanted to have a different channel and I guess basically do a reboot, more or less. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with making a new channel when you, you know, whatever reason you don't like your old channel anymore if you want to do a new channel. I know he's still got both channels up. Maybe he'll keep them both up at, again, but, um, so he has a new game channel if you want to check that out. Now, Ontario Drome, who has 207 subs, he has Animal Crossing City Folk gameplay, and he has uh, videos up of video game glitches in other games. Uh, Classic FPS has 306 subs. He does gameplay, pickups, top 10, collection, controllers, package, unboxing. And uh, the latest series was <clears throat> Jagfest X. Basically, it's a gathering of Atari Jaguar system owners. And uh, these last two are recommendations from TWEIR -E up or twerped up, twerp up. Uh, first one is Chemical Taste TV. He has 37 subs. He does. He has mod pickups. He has a Donkey Kong custom painted Super NES, which looks really cool video, and he has collection videos. Next is the Switchman 90. He does reviews, pickups. Uh, he does talking about a game. He has a couple videos about uh, GameStop advertising finds he got, obviously from GameStop, and he does vlog. 
So guys, that's all for this video. See you Monday.